Pakistan has produced numerous legendary bowlers like Wasim Akram, Imran Khan and Bakar Yunus. But there was one bowler who had the potential to surpass even these icons. He is none other than Mohammad Asif. Known for his outstanding ability to swing and seam the ball, Asif quickly established himself as a significant force in international cricket, leaving even the best batsmen such as Sachin Tendulkar and Ricky Ponting struggling against his skill. However, his meteoric rise was tragically cut short by a series of controversies leading to a dramatic downfall and ultimately preventing him from achieving the legendary status his talent deserved. So today, we look at the career of a player who was once loved by all but later became a villain in the eyes of his fans. Born on December 20th, 1982 in a small village in Pakistan, Mohammad Asif faced early challenges. His father initially opposed his pursuit of professional cricket, but Asif's unwavering determination and passion for the game helped him overcome these obstacles and follow his dreams. He started his career as a promising batter who could bowl a bit, but it was his tall frame and natural bowling talent that caught the eye of his coaches. They urged him to focus on fast bowling, a decision that would change his life forever. After his impressive performances in domestic cricket, Asif was given a chance to prove his worth in the national team. However, his debut against Australia was not at all impressive. Bowling 18 wicketless overs, he faced the harsh reality of international cricket. After this, he was dropped from the team. But despite the rocky start, Asif's talent was undeniable and he made a comeback in fashion. Mohammad Asif made a remarkable comeback in the 2006 series against India. In the third test in Karachi, Asif took 4 for 78 in the first innings, dismissing key players like VBS Lakshman, Rahul Dravid and Yuvraj Singh, helping Pakistan take a 6-run lead. In the second innings, Asif bowled out Virendra Sehwag, Lakshman and Sachin Tendulkar in spectacular fashion, leading Pakistan to victory. From that point on, Asif was a proven match winner. In Zamam Ulak after this match was quite impressed saying, he has amazing control over line and length and a natural ability to swing the ball. His best performance came against Sri Lanka, where Asif delivered a master class in fast bowling. In the first innings, he bowled 23 relentless overs, taking 6 wickets for just 44 runs with an economy of less than 2 runs per over. Not done yet, Asif returned in the second innings with unmatched intensity, claiming 5 wickets for just 27 runs. His extraordinary 11-wicket haul part Pakistan to a commanding 8-wicket victory, etching his name in cricketing lore. Former Pakistan captain Imran Khan also believed that Asif could be one of the best, saying, Asif is well on his way to become one of the greats. If he gains a little bit of pace through weight training, he can be more lethal. Mohammad Asif was a bowling artist, known for his ability to weave magic with the cricket ball. A right-hand fast bowler with a smooth action and short run-up, Asif was able to swing the ball both ways without much change in his bowling action. He also would be able to create sharp seam movement, which he was able to do by alteration of fingers while releasing the ball. Asif's bowling prowess is evident in his dismissals of top batsmen. He has dismissed Hashim Amla five times, Michael Clark four times, and Ebi de Villiers, Alastair Cook, Ricky Ponting and Graham Smith three times each. Even Kevin Peterson fell prey to him twice at a staggering average of 4.5. The best international fast bowler you faced at what? Mohammad Asif. Uh, Mohammad Asif, the Pakistani fast bowler. According to Shoaib Akhtar, I've never seen a magician like him. Despite his match-defining performances, Asif's career was marked by significant controversies. On October 16, 2006, the PCB suspended Asif and his teammate Shoaib Akhtar after their failed drug tests leading to the removal from the Champions Trophy. However, the judging panel showed some understanding towards Asif, believing he didn't know he was using a banned substance and stopped when his physiotherapist advised him to, which led to his release. In another incident in 2008, Asif faced trouble at Dubai International Airport, where he was detained under suspicion of possessing illegal drugs. Consequently, he received a lifetime ban from entering the UAE further complicating his career and reputation. But despite these controversies, Asif's cricketing abilities continued to shine, with sporadic comebacks showing flashes of his exceptional talent. During Pakistan's 2-2 England in 2010, 
Asif claimed his 100th wicket in only his 20th test match and looked set for greater glory until the calamity at Lords in September. In August 2010, a newspaper named News of the World published allegations that Asif and fellow bowler Mohammad Amir had intentionally bowled no balls during their match against England in return for payment from a betting syndicate. On September 1st, the ICC announced that they had suspended Asif under the provisions of ICC's anti-corruption court. And after the investigation on 5th February 2011, Asif's fate was sealed. Mohammad Asif was found guilty of deliberately bowling no balls and was banned from cricket for 7 years. Asif played his last international match in 2010 despite having a short career. Mohammad Asif was able to take 106 test wickets in just 23 matches with an average of 24.36 and an economy rate of 2.99. In ODIs, he took 46 wickets at an average of 33.13. I truly believe the statistics could have been much much better if only he was not driven by his greed. Mohammad Asif was neither at the beginning of his cricket career nor was he fighting to secure a spot in the team. Still, He went ahead with his decision. Asif's greed for quick money from illegal betting groups and those trying to fix matches tempted him, even though he was already successful in cricket. This choice hurt his reputation, ruined his career, and made people forget about his accomplishments in the game. His career, filled with highs and lows, ended not with a grand farewell, but with a ban that left fans wondering what if in 2010 Asif had refused to take that money. If you wish to look at how good was Shoaib Akhtar, click on the video being displayed on your screen. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. Until next time, keep watching this beautiful game. See you soon.